Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today the launcher was updated to 1.1.1 and although there are only a few changes, those changes that have been made are quite significant to a lot of people who have been having trouble with the launcher. So first of all we have a new login screen that you can see right here. Lots of people are having issues with logging in and not being able to play online so this new system will fix that. You can log in like you see with this screen here or you'll see a slightly different one just confirming that you've already logged in when you've previously used the launcher. So note here that it says email address or username. If you're having trouble um, logging in with your username it's probably because you signed up for a Mojang account and the only way you can sign in to Minecraft with that account is by using your email address. So if your username doesn't work make sure to use your email address. So here is what the new launcher looks like. You can see it's not really a big change. Dinnerbone has tweeted saying that they're going to make more uh, changes to the user interface in the future. Um, but mainly they've just rearranged the elements and you can see they've also removed the server status. So you won't be able to tell if the multiplayer or login servers are down. Possibly they'll be adding that back in in the future. Um, but all of the other tabs here are the same as well. So the most important change in this update, if you click on edit profile down here, you'll see that a new option has been added in this menu and it's a very important option. It is this one right here, launcher visibility. So a lot of people have been having issues with FPS problems in 1.6.2 and it's believed that a lot of them are caused by having the launcher open in the background. So if you've been having trouble with frame rates in 1.6.2 what you want to do is come here to launcher visibility and change one of these options. So you can hide the launcher and then when you close your game it will reopen it again or you can close the launcher completely and that means after you've closed your game it's not going to reopen or if you've had no problems whatsoever you can probably just keep the launcher open. Um, but that is something you should definitely try if you're having any performance or FPS issues. As I said it's been linked to having the launcher running in the background. So the new launcher also has much better support for being logged into multiple accounts at the same time. If you look at the bottom right hand corner I'm logged in as Asuma and if we change this to Assume Avoid you'll see that over here I'm logged in as Assume Avoid. Um, so I can be logged into multiple accounts at the same time. Now if I click on Log Out it takes me to this other log on screen where I'm actually still logged into these two accounts so I can simply select one and click on Play or I can add another user to this list by logging in with an email and password down below. So I can click on Asuma, click play and then I'll be logged in as Asuma. So that is pretty much everything there is to know about this update to the launcher and if you're one of those people who's been having trouble with FPS in 1.6.2 uh, then let me know if changing the launcher visibility helps. Leave a comment down below and let us know if it did or didn't help you with your FPS and your game performance. So that is it for this video. As always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.